Hey guys, this is Fernando Martinez, senior content producer for Adorama. And we just got back from covering IBC in Amsterdam, as well as shooting content with Gavin Hoey. And I wanted to go over a few of the things that have changed in my backpack, um, probably starting with the backpack itself. And I actually went with an oldie but goodie, one of my all time favorite backpacks, the Peak Design Travel 45. I don't know if I can convey the amount of gear you can fit into this backpack and still be international uh, carry-on approved. I'll start real quick just on the outside. So many handles. You can attach so many things to the outside of this backpack. And on the other side, a way to pack your straps to be able to keep it just self-contained. So let's go inside, check the compartments, and I'll go over the highlights of what I've swapped since the last time I did a What's In My Bag. So let's start the main compartment. So in the main compartment, you have space for your laptop, which I don't have it in right now. And the main camera for this shoot, the Panasonic Lumix S52X with the Sigma 28 to 105 f2.8. Right off the bat, a workhorse of a camera with a lens that will give you even longer reach than a regular 24 to 70 while still being an f2.8. Of course, during the trade show, uh, having that extra reach with the 105 allows me to get those details or something that might be a little bit further away while still going back to a 28 millimeter and getting all the action in the space. Especially with somebody as energetic as Seth, I want to be able to go from a wide establishing shot with him and the person he's talking to, to sometimes jump to a little detail and a drop of a hat. Along with this setup, I have two things that are adding to it. One is the cage from Tilta, and the other is the variable ND true color kit from Nisi. So I've been going to trade shows close to a decade now, and one of the things that is paramount is great audio. And this is where my next piece of kit comes in, the DJI Mic 2. Now, we've used the Mic 1s for a few years now, and they've always been reliable. Now we have the new iteration with 32-bit float. And if you know, you know. Not only can you not peek and make sure that your audio is safe, but you can also record directly to the microphone, which again, in a very crowded, signal heavy show like IBC or NAB for that matter to have in unit recording and make sure that your audio is safe. With run and gun projects like this, I feel that it's always good to get extra angles and behind the scenes whenever possible. Uh, this is where I found that these two tools really helped me to get that. Let's start with the DJI Pocket 3. Now, of course I have to get my hands on it like everybody else. Even though it's a great vlogging camera and to get running gun footage, I use it as a secondary camera with active track to follow the subject along. The second unit is the Insta360 X4. Now I know what you're thinking. Why are you using an action camera and a 360 action camera at that? If you place it on top of your rig, not only do you get a wide angle shot of your subject, which is extra, you can get a shot of yourself and everything in between. This also becomes a very important tool as a witness camera if you're doing any type of motion capturing. Now the next one you might find a little boring, but I cannot go anywhere without them. These compact V-mount batteries, I have the ones from Small Rig that are under 99 watt hours, which means you can travel with them. You can use these for anything, even if it's like a power bank where you have PD delivery. Along with some portable headphones, grip, and some power adapters, this basically completes the camera cube section of the backpack with this empty cavity that you can fill with whatever you need. Okay, so let's go to the front section of the backpack. Here you have a small pocket as well as the, this large zipper that has more space on the front. Here I carry the Ziyun Molas X60 RGB which fully built becomes one of the smallest yet powerful lights you can travel with. And finally, everybody's favorite, the tech pouch. Even though I've had my fair share of tech pouches and the majority of my gear is on the darker side, I am very partial to this Coyote colorway. 
That along with its weather resistance and new recycled material means that I'm not gonna part with this anytime soon. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions on anything you saw here today, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Fernando Martinez. I'll see you next time. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what to say here.